Ik ben Hattie en uh, ik wil heel graag geknut worden door Theo. Ik vind het heel leuk om een model bij hem te zijn. En ik ben heel benieuwd naar het resultaat. Ja, we gaan een, uh, een kerstkapsel maken, een kerstpixie. Ja. Wil je een rondje draaien alsjeblieft? Ja, graag. Hattie wants, uh, yeah, she loves short hair, but not too short because it's winter time. I'm going to make her a nice uh, pixie hairstyle. As you can turn real slow, <laughs> so you can see in slow motion, so you can see how her hair is. Thank you well. Thank you. Hello friends. Thank you for joining me in this uh, tutorial video. Can I make a pixie hairstyle? As always I start uh, with protection. A nice cold cape. And we have some surround noises. <laughs> Normally you don't hear anything in the studio, but now we have surrounding. Start by wetting the hair. Don't have to be totally wet. And it's winter time, so this will be not as short as normally. Oh, lekker, lekker model Before I start this cut, I take a little bit uh, conditioner spray on it. It makes slicing and everything much nicer to do. And the quality of the hair is better. It's a milk product of Glint. Start on top. Now I want to leave some length on the front. So I take about uh, uh, one and a half, two centimeters of the front lay to the front. Pull the hairs to the back. Start on the sides. Take about the hairs on uh, two and a half centimeter, that's about an inch. Thank God, they stopped. Yeah. Pin out the hairs with my fingers. Do this in slow motion so you can see what I do. I, co I comb the hairs down, then I take a part of the first part I cut, take the other half in it, and so I do every time a parting. I think this is the best way to part because then you have always control over that what you do. When I come to the back, I go into the rounding. Show you this by turning a bit. So I come to the back, now I go into the roundings of the skull. In the winter the hair lay a little bit more flat on the head. This is because it wants to keep all the warmth into the skull. And muscles will pull the hairs down to keep that possible. So keeping some length, do some length on the fall of the skull. And then I lift over to the other side. So take the hairs up, pull them on the first line. Show you that also. Part the hairs, pull the hairs on the first line, take them over to the center. This way I hold some length. And I give it also a rounding. Yeah. Coming to her left side. Now I twist over with my fingers. Show you that also in a second. Take the ass up. Lay them again in the running. Watch what it does because this will be less volume. Then I'll turn her so you can see what I do. So take it apart, take it up, turn it into the line of cutting. Now 
watch what my guideline is, it's laying on top. Come to the last part. Connect the front to the line of cutting. Clean the line, wet it in between. Now I'm gonna make a shape to this line. In the baseline, I go slice cutting to create more diversity in length. Just ultra fine slices. And when I come on the air, you see that the hair travels to the back. I go into that round with my slicing techniques. Then I lay the hairs back. Go first on the air. Lay the head to the back, go in from above and lay the slice techniques into the line of cutting. Go back to the front. Take the hands up with my comb. Don't want ultra short hair. It's winter time. Almost Christmas. Pull the hairs down. Go on top of the ears. Take the hairs that go in the opposite lines. Now you see a much better fall to the head. Going off to the right side. Do the same. Take the ass up. Lay my fingers in the line of all the lines. I can see. gently work out the first line. Connect it to the upper hair. I don't know what my neighbors are doing, but <laughs> for the first time they made this sound. Maybe it's friend that Father Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do the same as I did on the other side, turn up a little bit. First, connect the lines to each other by slicing. I really love slicing in the pixie hairstyles. Because the diversity of length makes it really funny and playable. And it's easy to style. Adjust the line slicing. Lay the rest to the back. Go in above the ear.
go back from the other side. Take the hose up. Scissor overcome, not getting it too short. Travel back over the same line. Adjust the length. I have two sides, nice short and still a wonderful line. So now I can go to the back. Turn so you can see what I do. Start on the line of the left side. Take the hairs up. Set my fingers in the rounding and to the skull bone. When I come at the back, I can see the hair is what I told you laying flat. So I lift the hairs over. This is my line of cutting. So I go to the line of cutting and then I point my fingers to the center. So I give it some more volume on the back of the head. Still working the same roundings. This I do till I get to the center line. Go back over the same line and control the length. Give it a slight graduation. This by turning the fingers inside. And when I'm ready with this line, I go in with ultra fine slice techniques on the line of cutting. So I give it that same playable effect that I give on the front. Slicing is ultra fine to do, but also you need to practice this because it's not the easiest way of cutting. But the nice thing of slicing is that you can adjust the thickness by on the point where you want it to create this. Because you go in only with one thin part. Come to the other side. So now I get over the rounding, so my fingers change of position, laying again, pointing to the neckline, watch at the crown area, there's a slight crown area in the center, so I have to adjust the length to that because otherwise I don't have the perfect fall. Mostly I watch what it does and then I adjust this on the lines. Go to the cat on the front, come to my cutting line, go the same way back, take a new part of the underline with it. Did you say it's good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also on this side, go in with ultra fine slice techniques. So now I'm gonna lift up the hairs with my comb and my scissor. Go in with my scissor, lift up the hairs, 
Don't go too near to the skin. Push on the hairs, so you stand up straight. Hold my comb in the position of the eyebrow bone or the opposite chin line. Het is echt lekker lang geworden. Ja. Daar is niks voor mij. Nee. Daar heb je ook heel veel werk mee. Hè? Ja. Ik vind het zo'n petje. Ja. Ja, en als je inderdaad die oude foto's ziet waar je gewoon veel haar hebt en lang, ja. dan is dat natuurlijk een heel groot verschil. Ja, maar dan ben ik veel jonger. <laughs> Tot met 21 of 20. Oké, okay, ja, dan heb je meestal. De, maar dan heb je ook heel mooi haar, hè? Ja, dat was echt heel donker. Ja. Maar daarom ben je ook zo mooi grijs. Ja. Dat je donker bent. Ja. Geweest. Er zit veel blauwe componenten in een donker haar. Work till I get on the line of cutting, of course. Show you that also. So I lift the hairs up, go in, hold my comb in the position of the eyebrow line or the opposite chin line. I create these wonderful lines of a short pixie. When I hold my pink of of the scissor my hair uh, my scissor is flexible when I lay my pink on it it's more stable so it's just what you like to have I like it to be in a freehand style so don't get a stiff scissor Watch the fall of the hair in the way it travels over the skin. It's a slight wavy. Turn on some more. Pulling on the hairs. Lekker beschreven, dat knippen. Ja, maar zo blijft dat ik geen water naar beneden kan. Ja. Dat is echt vervelend als je dat hebt. Is het een Ja. Water is echt, voor, echt, echt zo dun spul. Watch over the lines. Take the fine part of my comb. Go over the same lines again. See how nice this will be. Turn a bit so you can see the other sides. Make a little bit of some more. Sell it. Die, die doen het niet zo goed op YouTube. Ja. Maar ik weet niet, ik ben bezig met nieuwe, nieuwe dingen, dus ja, ik weet nog niet of dat er ook. Er komen vast wel mannenlijnen ook in. Ja. Maar leuk om te doen. So now around. 
So now I can take a fine comb, a small one, and clean the contour line. Take away the woolly hairs. Take an ultra fine comb. And clean the contour line. Pull the ear down. Mostly when people wear glasses, the hair behind the ear gets also the shape of the glasses because they push the hair away. Holding the neckline nice and soft. Clean the hair as those ones. Underlines. Work till we get to the line where it's all the hair with the scissor, of course. Get rid of the small hairs you don't need. Adjust the shape in the center of the neckline. Coming at the ear, pulling the ear down. Holding my clipper in an angle. Send the point from F half? No. Okay, this is. I need all the miles also. Mm -hmm. My F half is not so fair as synthetic. Ik heb deze keer veel makkelijker zelfs schoon gehaald. Ik heb ook een schimmel voor zo in. En ga wel. Tien de contourlijn. Wat je zo'n hair sticking out. Dat wil het op de woelie hair. Nou, ik moet alleen de front doen. Lay the hair in the natural fall. First, set them some slice techniques. So adjust the thickness of the fringe. This is my largest Giona scissor. Go back over the line and point cut. Deep slicing. This will do only on the parts where I think she needs it. To get it more jumpy. Because when you have shorter hair in the underlines, the hair will be jumpy. Because they push the hair up. Make also the line stronger. Connecting the line, I cut in the first line by laying the hair to the sides and I connect them slicing. You can hear the scissor working. Minor caresses to the line. Mm -hmm. 
this is the new pixie hairstyle. For Hetty, so now I only have to style there and then I'm ready. Oh, yeah, I like it. Huh? Mm -hmm. Lekker is Dutch for fine. <laughs> With that sparkling uh, grey feeling, I'd use this uh, no yellow spray of uh, Attitude. This product smells really nice and adds some silver color to the hair. This I come through the heads. And now I'm gonna blow dry it with the use of my fingers. And making small circles with my fingers. Pull a bit on the hairs, not too much. Ja, lekker hè. Komt erbij. Ik zat op de bestellijst denk ik voor. The fine thing is when you blow dry it, with the use of your fingers you can feel how hot the blow dryer is. So you can also know what the customer will feel when you hold it on the skin. To make the hairs totally crazy, you can turn your hands over the hairs, and then you get nice, free falling hair. Especially in winter time. When you massage your skin, the muscles will loose, and your hair will be looking much better then. Blow drying. Now I'm going to use uh, two, two products. Yeah, I like this. I use a boa and I use uh, um, a gloss. The boa is a clay product, the gloss is a waxy product. Like this, mix them together. And bring them over my total heads. This is my reserve. If I need it, I have it. Go in the way I did the hair blow drying. And the clay will uh, have a function like uh, hairspray and the wax makes it nice, young, glowing, sparkling, whatever you like to call it, but it does it. This product out of glint. Mm -hmm. That's Dutch but it smells nice. And, uh, Videos don't come with smell, maybe in the future, but nowadays not. The 
I don't have a mirror to watch, so I have to walk around, see the shapes. But this is the new short pixie hairstyle. Patty. Clean the neckline of small hairs. It's nice when you work with the neck paper, you don't have that much hairs coming through the lines. Clean the underline. Get rid of those hairs also. Now I give her her glasses back and she will sort of return to show you. We see each other in the next video. She will turn to show you the end Thank result. Thank you, Theo. What a welcome, nice. guys. <laughs> Ja, je mag even draaien. Dit is the end result. I thank her for being my model. I thank okay. you for watching. Thank you, you're welcome. Huh? Ik ben Hattie en uh, ik wil heel graag geknut worden door Theo. Ik vind het heel leuk om een model bij hem te zijn. En ik ben heel benieuwd naar het resultaat. Ja, we gaan een, uh, een kerstkapsel maken, een kerstpixie. Ja. Wil je een rondje draaien alsjeblieft? Ja, graag. Hattie wants. Uh, yeah, she loves short hair, but not too short because it's winter time. I'm gonna make her a nice uh, pixie hairstyle. And she can turn real slow, <laughs> so you can see in slow motion, so you can see how her hair is. Thank you, well.